Hello, basketball fans. Here at the Williams Athletics and Assembly Center in Jackson, Mississippi. This should be a whale of a game. The Florida A&M Rattlers take on the Jackson State Tigers. Good evening, everyone. Along with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson, I'm Vern Lundquist. The Jackson State head coach will have his squad ready today, I'm sure. What do you think, Bill? The Jackson State coach works just as hard to develop his kids as complete players as he does at winning basketball games. Don't get me wrong, he wants to win, but to him, that's a byproduct of teaching kids the right way to play. The Florida A&M head coach leads his team into the fray today. What's your take, Bill? The Florida A&M coach has become the face of this program, Vern, and he has won over the entire university with his engaging personality. That campus loves him, and they're sold on what he's trying to do. Morton figures to play a key role today. Morton is an exceptional shooting guard. This guy has such a will to win. He plays the game with joy, and he never stops working to improve. Sullinger could be a crucial piece of the puzzle on the other side. Sullinger is a tremendous shooting guard as well. He's a gunner from long range, and that really opens up things for his teammates. Well, let's move out to center court for the tip-off. Florida A&M controls the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. More. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, who has some info for us. Well, guys, before the game, I had a chance to talk with the head coach. He told me that they want to use their quickness to their advantage. He said they couldn't think of another squad that could match their team's speed. And he wants to make sure that shows tonight by getting out on the break and showing how fast this game can be played. Guys? Thank you, Tracy. Jackson State brings it up. We've got a tie ball game here. Dumps it off. Smalls passes to the high post. Doolin feeds it down low. Shoots a three. Wilkes grabs the rebound. The Rebels bring it up. Just over nine minutes left in the half. Kick out. Top of the key. Henry intercepted the pass. He needed a little pepper on it. He's got to make nice, crisp passes. Hits the quick shot. Jackson State carries it up. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. From 17 feet out. Nope. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Webster dishes to the middle. The Tigers touched it last, right before it went out of bounds. The Tigers will bring in some players from off the bench. The Rattlers will take their first time out. 
Jackson makes his first appearance. The Tigers bring the ball up. They're behind seven to six. Bridges tries to post him up. Bridges kicks it out to the top of the key. Backs down. With the drop step, tickles the twine. The D has to get more active. He didn't so much as get a hand in his face. Webster dishes inside. It's stolen by Polk. Dish inside. Takes a three. It falls. Polk. the jump shot. They're giving up too much height on that mismatch. He can just shoot right over him. Jackson State takes it up court. They're in front by two. Tries to back him in. Shoots the turnaround. Swishes it through. The Rattlers bring it up the court. Under six minutes left in the half. Wilkes passes it to the top of the key. Launches one from beyond the arc. Puts too much on it. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. Crosses it over. Henry feeds it to the middle. Freeman read that pass and picked it off. Webster uses the crossover. It's picked off by Pope, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. The finisher. Webster corrals the miss. Jackson State was the last to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. The Tigers are putting the rest of their starting lineup back on the floor. The Rattlers are making substitutions. They're going with a zone D here. Looks like a little 1 3 1. The shot was short by Sullinger. Jackson State with the ball, and it's a four point game. Dumps it off. Small dishes it down low. The runner inside. Dula grabs the offensive rebound. Good job sticking with him and getting the second effort. The Revelers carry it up. About four and a half minutes left in the half. it off. Picked off by Dula. The Tigers bring it up the court. They're 7 for 11 in the field. Stuck early by Tyler. Big height disadvantage for the D there. No wonder he got thumped on. Pass. Right side. Jackson locks it inside. Through the bucket. Can't convert the layup. Jackson State carries it up. They're up 17 to 9. Tyler swings it to the corner. Shoots from the post. Henry snatches it up. Can't extend the lead with double digits. Florida AM with the ball. Under four minutes left in the half. It off to end the 
Trout. Off the front rim and out. Jackson State takes it up court. A basket would push their lead with double digits. Freeman picked off that pass for a second steal of the contest. Pass. High post. Wooden passes it down low. 